um, what, what would I know? Um, you know, you're you're the guy that stays at home all day, and I'm just you know the guy that works in a uh, in a laboratory. Uh, yeah, well, look, I'm the guy that's twice your age, and so you want to malign the second half of my life? Well, you can go ahead and do that. You can say I have no life experience and I've acquired no skills. You can make that argument, but I can prove you wrong. I can demonstrate you fucking wrong. All right, so so that's the more just what is that? It's just cheap, deceptive, petty rhetoric. You have, you have no idea what skills I've acquired in my almost 50 fucking years, you dumb fucker. You have no idea what work I have done in my life. So why don't you just, you know, you really, you really should have enough, enough um, respect for responsible human behavior to know you really shouldn't go there when you have no facts to back up your, your, your slander. That's all it is. It's just a fucking weaselly little slander. But, you know, let's just... Uh... Let's just agree, disagree in, in that sense. I will give you a, a small anatomical um, lesson, free of charge. You know, I do charge for. A, I, I also am a teacher. Um, I, I teach uh, cognition. Yeah, well, you probably should teach uh, propaganda and distortion, slander, libel, manipulation, pettiness. Um, you know, baboon behavior. That's probably what you should be teaching. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, and different uh, branches of cognition, you know, having to do with memory and learning and uh, perception. It's one of them. Mm, acting like a twat. Things that I teach at university level. <laughs> but, uh, you know, what would I know? Um, I will give you this, uh, this really, really quick um, lesson, and I won't charge you. Uh, you said that, um, you know, we, we don't have uh, neurons on, our, on the tips of our, of our fingers, and, uh, and you're absolutely wrong about that, because... You know, uh, yeah, okay, so right, anybody who watched the videos got my point. Uh, I mean, our eardrum is not made out of uh, neurons. Our eyeballs are not made out of neurons. Uh, the fact that our fingertips are nerve cells, I don't think they're really quite the same. I mean, they do have synapses at the very end, but I don't think they're technically neurons. But if you want to say they are fine, I'm not going to dispute the fact. Maybe the technical definition of a neuron is any cell uh, that possesses a synapse. Uh, okay, so maybe technically they qualify, but they're not exactly, they're, they're pretty distinguishable from the neurons in our brain um, in terms of their appearance and functionality. Um, so regardless, I think it's a very tiny, tiny point. The point is that perception takes place inside our brain. Perception, consciousness does not take place on the end of our fingers or in our eyeball or you know, on our eardrum. It takes place in the brain where the messages are sent. We have neurons. Most people think that we only have them in our brains. And yeah, provided that's a place where we have most of our neurons because they're all packed together. <sighs> But we have neurons everywhere on our body. If you were to prick your uh, left toe... Well, technically you're wrong, okay? I guess because we don't have them in tooth enamel, so I guess that's they're not everywhere in our body, right? In our eyeball, I don't think there's no, any, no neurons on the surface of our eyeball. Well, I guess there might be some on the surface, but underneath the surface there isn't. In the goo inside of our eyeball, there's no neurons. <laughs> you know, so whatever. So we're going to play the technical game. Uh, fuck you. I, I think a lot of our internal organs don't have too many either. Um, how would you feel pain? Well, you prick your, uh, you prick your toe, and it's a very complicated mechanism. I'm not going to go into it. But um, basically, uh, there is a message that is sent to a neuron um, that goes all the way to, to, your, uh, to your left toe. And that message is, is transmitted, you know, and, and um, it makes a, a connection in your spine, and it goes all the way up. And uh, that's how you... Yeah, I guess that what, the longest cell in the body is one of the nerve cells <laughs> that can, you know, but whatever. I mean, is, isn't this a very tiny, small, irrelevant point? The point is we don't, we don't sense the world, at, and with our senses, we sense it with our perception, our consciousness say that, um, you know, that we would only have to, uh, to put them, basically, uh, I mean, I don't know, because you're not an engineer, so you're basically just saying, oh, we just, uh, you know, we, we do something to this, we do something, I don't know what that something is, I mean, if you can come. Yeah, well, you say I'm not an engineer, how do you even know that? 
<laughs> I mean, really. I mean, how do you know I'm not an engineer? But regardless. Come up with the idea, um, then it might be worth looking into. But, you know, we do something, whatever that is, um, to our, our perception senses, you know? But, uh, yeah, I think I explained what we do, just to what we're doing now. We incrementally create synthetic senses. Um, we incrementally move deeper into the brain and replace perception with an artificial mechanism that creates an illusion. If you're talking about a virtual reality like in the Matrix where you just get plugged in and it's like a real world except that you can fly then you're way, way off. And I'm not saying that we won't be able to do it someday. We might. We might. I mean, we look at technology and the way that it has developed over the years. It's amazing. It's yeah, well, you, know, you're, you said 5,000 years, and then you moderated it to 1,000 years. I mean, you're going to moderate it again. I mean, can we get you to keep coming down that staircase a little? Amazing, you know, that um, 1983, you could barely even play a Pong on a computer, and look at what they do today. So it is unbelievable, and, and, and I don't want to, um, I don't want to say, oh, we won't be able to do it ever. Uh, I mean, we might. Who knows? We might. Um, but you know, it's just so far away, and that it's, it's even ridiculous to, uh, to. <laughs> yeah, right. So, you know, it's so far away, but we might be able to do it. But yeah, I mean, really, you, you can't make a more coherent and concise argument than that suggested um, but you know you think it's gonna be closed you know whatever uh, I'm not gonna discuss that with you uh, you know you probably know something that I don't know or you probably but whatever you're gonna make three or four videos about it right but you're not gonna discuss it and it's not what I know it's what other people will talk about too there's lots of scientists that will tell you about all kinds of technology nanotechnology and whatever that's going on um, so whatever, it's just whatever. You're the one who says it's an outrageous claim to say that we can make it happen in the next 50 years. All right, I don't think it's outrageous. And you didn't really defend your argument of outrage. Now, um, addressing not you, but one of the comments that uh, someone left on, uh, on, the, uh, on your video saying that... Uh... Well, whatever, we won't bother with that argument. We'll just deal with the stuff we have to deal with. So whatever, I'm just saying, why don't you just let this one go too, okay? I don't think... You're making an argument, a persuasive argument. You're just sitting there and doing the naysaying thing, exactly what you said you weren't doing in the first video. All right, so fine. You're a naysayer. You're not. In, you're not intrigued by the possibility. You don't think it's worth investing in. Fine. Okay. But there's no point in saying, ah, anybody who disagrees with me is an idiot, or the rhetoric sucks, or their science sucks, or their intelligence sucks. I mean. Fuck that bullshit when you come back with this kind of a crappy argument.